guys, this is Gina from Haunted Flower, and this weekend I saw the much anticipated New Moon. I'm a few days late with my review because I've been at a new event, Anime Crossroads, in Indianapolis. I gotta give them a shout out. I couldn't tell anyone that I'd gone to New Moon for fear of getting my head bitten off or getting mobbed by fangirls. So, this is my review for New Moon. Stephanie Meyer's second novel in the Twilight Saga, New Moon, has been directed by Chris Weitz, who prepared for this by directing Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. This film focuses primarily on Bella's next stage in her life where she has been left by Edward and has to seek solace hanging out with her friend Jacob, who is a werewolf. I'm not really giving anything away that the trailer hasn't already done because I felt like watching the teasers and the trailers that I'd seen most of the movie. I saw the first Twilight movie and then I decided based on that maybe I'll go back and read the books because there's a lot of hype here and maybe the books are better than this movie I saw. And I did believe the books were better than that first movie for sure. In the book Bella actually has like a sense of humor and she's kind of interesting. She has a little bit more sarcasm and I'm never really impressed with Kristen Stewart's acting for Bella. She's just always so, so stone-faced and kind of bland and boring. These long, awkward silences. And I don't know why she makes that choice. There's always a lot going on in Bella's head from the book. We never really see any of that play out of her face. You're beautiful. <sighs> Casting Robert Pattinson as Edward Cullen in the first place was a good casting choice for the physical type. I think he could be more interesting, more animated, funny. He's kind of a boring character too, so when the two characters, Edward and Bella, are on screen together, a little bit of a snooze fest. So the beginning of the movie goes very slowly. Taylor Lautner plays Jacob Black, he did an excellent job preparing for this role. Based on the first movie, he looks so young and you had to wonder, how is he going to grow up into this big, bad, puberty-driven werewolf? The boy got ripped! Whatever workout program he was on, I want to know what it was. He's very funny. I think his line delivery was really good. And I think that any scenes he was in with Kristen Stewart kind of brought her up and made her a little bit more interesting because of his performance. So I really enjoyed the little bits of interaction they had. A few of them were still really awkward because if Kristen Stewart has to play a really emotional scene, she drags things out until they become a little bit painful. I really liked seeing more of Alice, played by Ashley Green. Her character coming into it more made a lot of fun. She had some really good one-liners. Loved the yellow car, the yellow sports car she got to drive. Ah, oh, I wanted so much. The werewolves were done really well. From the very first teaser trailer, I was a little bit concerned because it looked kind of like, poof, I'm a werewolf. Ah! Watching it this time, I think they did a great job with the effects. That Pixar way where you kind of want to reach out and see how furry it is, but the best part about the werewolves, besides just the sheer size and appearance that kind of made your jaw drop, was there was a real intelligence in the eyes. You could kind of see that. We got to see Dakota Fanning as Jane, the pain-driving vampire. Someone who's maybe on the bad side inflicting pain is a good choice for her because it's showing she has a little bit more range. My favorite new vampire that was introduced was the character Arrow, played by Michael Sheen, who you might remember as Lucian from the Underworld Vampire series. Werewolf there, and now he's a vampire. He has such enthusiasm in his role. He's just so excited to see all of them. And I loved watching him on screen because he's very engaging in his performance. The movie was still a good story. It had lots of interesting scenes in it, and it kept me really engaged throughout. Do I recommend this movie? If you're a Twilighter, you'll probably love this movie regardless. Kind of casually into this. Don't watch New Moon by itself. Watch the first movie so you know a little bit about what's going on and why you should care. Normal person out there, I think most women, most teenage girls like the Twilight series. They like the romance of it. Ugh, sorry guys, I'm just not a fan of Edward. In the books, it's a lot more of a fair draw personality-wise. But in the movies, it's just no contest. Jacob is the more interesting person to watch. And you kind of want to hang out with him. Jacob won, Edward negative one, because I didn't like him in the first movie either. Like it or not, that's what I think of New Moon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
character. <laughs> Situation.